Hello and welcome to the Garlic Bread Brigade podcast episode 54. My name is Mike and I'm here with Sam. Yo, what up guys? We are getting ever so closer to the big 2024. Yeah. Now, of course, you- it's, it's a time of celebration because we're getting closer to like probably the best time of the year where everyone just takes leave off work and there's holiday celebrations, get to celebrate with family, friends. Then you get to start a new year where everything is a fresh slate. Alrighty. But yeah, so we're really excited for that. And um, of course, uh, we're prepping things for the holidays. We're prepping things with this channel. Uh, there will be a Christmas themed episode of this podcast. And there will be some Christmas stuff. What would you say? I was like, there is. <laughs> yeah, there will be. There will be. There will be. I, I, I'm saying it now. It's a okay. promise. There will be. Oh, great. And there'll be also some Christmas games that we're going to play. So, yeah, ex- look, exciting times, exciting times. Um, yeah. In the meantime, let's just update you guys on how things have been going. Let's just start off with some of that. Uh, of course, there was sure. um, the biggest probably highlight for many people uh, would be uh, if you're a gamer, that is, in the gaming sphere. Um, the Game Awards. Uh, yeah. There's that. Um, there's also been, uh, which which includes a huge whole bunch of announcements, which we will be talking and we will be discussing some of the winners as well. Um, yes. And there is also, yeah. if you are like me and Mike, we're huge fans of Genshin Impact, of course. So it was the Genshin Impact 4.3 live stream, uh, which was incredible in my opinion. And yeah, that, that that's what I've had. Um, anything you've got, Mike? How have you been? I've been pretty good. I haven't watched the uh, what's it called? The I didn't watch the live stream for uh, what is it called? The four point three update. I didn't even watch the entirety of the game awards. Um, that's fine. Uh, that's I fine. I did watch. I did watch the GTA six trailer. Like t- there, was there was that. There was that that broke records. It did break yeah. a whole bunch of records. Which we'll also be discussing later down the line. Or, I guess, today or tonight. Yeah, yeah later down the line. And, yes. uh, I guess recording vids for the channel. <laughs> yeah, we've also been, like, yeah. doing quite a lot of uh, sh- uh, shopping. I've been doing quite a lot of shopping, looking for gifts. Um, yeah, just, just scoping out the prices because this is the time where sales happen. It's a good thing to gauge mm-hmm. prices at different stores. And also see what cool stuff have dropped because... Some of my some of my favorite stores like drop some cool ass stuff. There's also the Christmas section has now appeared in most stores. Yes, so Next that's thing, also exciting. Uh, the Christmas festivities. And yes, that's right. Um, I haven't looked to be honest. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, except yeah, the Christmas trees are really expensive. Like Christmas trees are very expensive. What like a hundred, two hundred. So, well, if you, that's like if you want a giant Christmas tree, but even a standard Christmas tree size, I might have need like two, pretty expensive. So is it that? Yeah, that's right. Like no Christmas tree this year, then. <laughs> definitely, I can't. I can't afford any <laughs> Christmas tree this year. Christmas ornaments no, are just uh, as expensive as well because you, 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 the fact they're like it's it looks cheap, but you're buying so many because you don't want the tree to feel empty. Is yeah. what like ends up resulting in like a high amount of price you're paying for. I just you know what for the like for the interest of you know doing it, I decided to search up Christmas trees mm-hmm. on Big W and damn like there's none that's under fifty that are like the size of a proper tree. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jeez. Just buy snow globe. Just buy snow globe. How much is a snow globe? <laughs> snow globe. A decent How size one's pretty expensive globe? though. Quite expensive. Twenty bucks. That's 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 Probably actually bucks. yeah. Buy yeah, snow globe. They all look bad though. <laughs> buy, buy buy some buy some Santa hats. Buy some uh, reindeers. Uh, what was it called like antlers? Uh, I guess. D- uh, yeah. Um, Live your reindeer dreams. I d- we I don't I don't like decorate my house on the outside with uh, Christmas lights. But if you do that, that's also pretty expensive. Yeah, especially on the electricity bill. Yeah, I mean, like, oh, crazy. This is, like, meant to be, like, the most, like, fun, like, month, but it's also the most t- taxing on so many people's wallets. Yeah, I was going to say you could go drive around and see other people's things, but the problem is it also would cost petrol. 
which is also expensive. <laughs> this is also a, a taxing month as well uh, for gacha gamers because this is when like Christmas event hit every single gacha game. Yes. I mean, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. Inclusion. <laughs> what, what? Yeah, it does. It does. It, it hasn't hit Genshin. It hasn't hit Genshin. Uh, let me tell you, Genshin I mean, doesn't Genshin have Christmas. Doesn't really... Some gacha games just don't do it. But also, there's the Christmas sales on video games. Very yeah. good. And all there's like Steam, Steam sales and whatnot. Steam like, sales, like, PlayStation Xbox sales, Xbox. Xbox sales, Epic game sales, Epic game sales. Like uh, going into like hard copy stores, uh, you know, uh, sales. Um, yeah. You know, you're like what? Are, what? Are, what? Are, what? Are, what? Are, what? Are, what else? What else is crazy? Stores. Yeah. Um, there's some. There's some. Uh, like, there, there was something I was gonna say. I totally like. Got no, there's probably source. some new games dropping or drop that are the movies, so movies, movies, movies. There's always like, oh, isn't like Willy up. Wonka or something? Willy Wonka's coming out. We are definitely watching that. Uh, I think we talked about last time. I think Aquaman and some other movies. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah like there's, there's a lot of good movies coming out, like Christmas, Boxing Day. You know, like you know, they're like Boxing Day release. Um, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Um, dude, the Boxing Day sales are gonna go crazy in the city. Uh, here in Australia, Probably. like people, people go go ham on the Boxing Day sales. It's always crowded there. It usually, it's crowded in the city. Yeah, especially during summer. Ugh. Yeah, it's like the hottest time, especially now. Like uh, I've got the fans blasting at full power. I've got yeah. the ACs on. It's absolutely wild. The weather is crazy. Yeah, the good thing is though, like this is the perfect time to go like to the pools and the beach, which is nice. True. By the way, this Thursday, it's, a, it's going to be a maximum of 1,300 degrees. Oh, no. It's going to be yeah. melting. I mean, it was like 40-something degrees earlier this week, so it's like, you know, it's pain. going to be melting, going to be melting. True. Thank God I work in my air-conditioned room at home. Nice. Well, the thing is, I have training done. That's the last day of training for me. Oh, nice. Congrats, like... congrats. Congrats. Congrats on passing It'll be the last day, but it'll be like... I don't know, they're probably going to make me do something or some BS, and then it's like, and I'm just like trying not to die <laughs> from the heat. You know what I mean? Like, be on the verge of heat stroke, and I'm then like, oh, could you like answer this question? I feel really bad for people that have to wear suits in this weather. True, yeah, people, I don't know, like accountants or people who have to go meet people physically. Yeah, like, I'm glad that my, my work is so relaxed with clothing. You're like, oh, yeah, just go wear casual. You're like, nice. Yeah. Nice. I mean, mostly for the IT industry, it is quite casual just wear. Yeah, Unless I'm you glad. have to go meet someone like IRL. But I'm not just mostly casual. But yeah. Yes. Anything else, I guess? Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm uh, back to gaming. I'm, I'm playing Genshin, of course, because that's like one of the few games I play. And let me tell I'm you, playing... if you are playing Genshin and you have not done the 4.2 story quest, or the Farina story quest, you guys are absolutely missing out. It's legit solidifies my argument I was saying last time, or I said at some point, that Farina is the greatest character in Genshin at all time currently. It solidifies the argument. Not biased. <laughs> it solidifies the argument. 100% I mean, biased. 100% biased. Yeah, but it solidifies. It also solidifies that one of the, one of the greatest storytelling in Genshin history. I mean, there's not really that much. <laughs> no, I mean, like, like, it's just as good as Sumeru, but let me tell you that. Like, it's it's one of the greatest things. It's Sumeru, and that's the only thing that's competing with it. <laughs> yeah, so let me say this. Let me say it. That if yeah. you are not playing Genshin at this present time, I reckon you should play Genshin just for that story. Yes, uh, the, payoff the, the payoff is worth. The payoff is worth. The payoff is worth. Unless you can't, you know, paddle gambling things, then don't. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a recommendation. All right, and then um, any final things that before we start with some of our topics that you we want to discuss? Any final thing that you want to say? Uh, not really, because like most of us just going to dive into it basically. Dude, you know? and the and the Christmas desserts is going to be wild. Like, you know what I mean? This is the one time where like all the 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 Christmas desserts absolutely go wild. The other day Christmas I was walking past. Better be cold AF because like if yeah, dude. not cold. I'm gonna be melting. <laughs> dude, I saw like all these uh, gingerbread huts and all this stuff like all on sale. I'm like, oh my god, that looks so good. I want to build like a gingerbread hut. 
but I also want to demolish it with my stomach. Um, Absolutely look crazy. And then you've got like the, 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 the uh, I think, I don't know what they're called, but they're Christmas cakes. Oh my God, they're everything. Oh, is, the, is it the one with the fruit in it or? Uh, the fruit cakes are completely different. I don't even know what these are called, but I saw those. I was like, oh, oh. my goodness. Uh, know. You know, some cafes also are running limited time uh, Christmas menus. That's absolutely crazy. That's pretty nice. That's wild. Yes. Totally not expensive though. Bro, Boost has running a campaign where they're where they're selling limited what? time summer drinks, and I'm like, hell yeah! I had the absolute you know pleasure of drinking one of them. It, it's so good. It was funny. I was actually drinking one of them during one of the recordings. What were you saying? I was drinking one of them during like one of my prior recordings, nice. like uh, early this weekend. I think it was, nice. it was a cassette based recording. I was just drinking it. Nice. I, I don't know if it got captured on the mic, but I was just straight up just drinking. <laughs> yeah, but like, uh, uh, dude, like uh, they had they have like oh, not... all these 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 limited time drink flavors. Absolutely yeah. crazy. I mean, I love Boost promotion. Like, uh, they they had like a game of like a, a pixel game uh, collaboration. I was like. What is this? It had like again phenomenal flavors. Oh, dude! I, I mean, I, it's I, just them. Um, other excuses for them to make more flavors. Just no, it's true. But like, I, I'm really upset. Like, they, they, they should, some of these, some of these should be on the permanent menu. They should, but then some it's like, the, oh no! Absolutely. Wait, do, they do they charge more? For no, it? no, no same price, same? same price, same price. I don't know. Just uh, I no, guess. no. Like, I reckon, like, I reckon these are tests. Then they're like, oh, let's see how many sales we can get out of these. And of course, it's going to be high sales because people want to try them, right? After the first day or two, right? Yeah. But then, like, after that, like, after that, you, you take into account, right, that, um, yeah. what's the word? The sales after the first two days will determine if the product sells good. Because if, if the first two days, sell, the product's going to sell hard because everyone's like, oh, my God, like, you know what I mean? Like, something new. And then, like, after people taste it, it's like, oh, this is awful. You will know that um, how do you say it? Like uh, the sales would drop. However, if it tastes incredible, uh, you know, like the the the, uh, the sales would just stay high the whole rest of the time. That's what I'm saying. But with with those with those sales, that they should like if 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 they if they become higher than your standard drink sales, just put them on your, just put them on your standard ma menu. You know what I mean? They might do that, or they might just do like a yearly thing when they're like. I don't know, like, you know how McDonald's sometimes does the McRib? They're like, oh, the McRib. No, dude, the McRib. That thing. <laughs> the non existent thing. I don't know why you'd want it back, but it's like it's back. <laughs> and it's like, oh, cool. It's going to be like that. I the guess. McRibs. Oh, my God. Bruh. Did you have to really bring uh, that well, up? Why would you? Why would someone eat that? Genuine question. Why would you eat a McRib? Hey, but I, look, I like ribs as much as the next guy, but I won't eat a McRib. But it's not even a pulled rib. It's just like it just looks like a piece of rib they put in a burger. Yeah, I know. Looks, I know. It's probably it doesn't have bones, probably, but it looks like it has it. You know what I mean? And just like from looking at it, it just looks so scuffed looking. The back of rib, yeah. The mick ribs. Yeah. Uh, oh, dude, ribs are supposed to have. Uh, you said it, it looks yeah. like it has a bone in it, but it doesn't. Is that we said. But it look. It looks like it looks like it, like if I open up the mech rib, like what I think of like the mech rib is like I don't know like like rib, but it's pulled. You know what I mean? No, I pulled, get that. I get rib. that. But I'm saying like a rib. But you always see is a slab. Of rib. <laughs> so what, what I'm saying is that a rib supposed to have like a bone in it. You know what I mean? Oh well, yeah, but it's a sandwich. You know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely wild. Absolutely look, I wild. I actually opened an image of it, and it does not look appetizing. <laughs> Bro, you know what we, we should do? We should do, like, maybe a video where we talk about, like, the most appetizing-looking food and the most unappetizing-looking food. Bro. But surprising... appetizing-looking yeah. food would be those ones that are, like, really creative. Like, those ones that they make... Yeah, but, like, like bro, 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 let me, let, me tell you, let me tell you something, right? Some of the, some of the most yeah. creative-looking food, like, you know, the most appetizing-looking food, yeah, yeah? Is from, like, a, a, a five-star restaurant chain, yeah? That you're paying high price and you get like the, the world's smallest thing, bro. It's like you're probably getting meat, meat and meat and potatoes, yeah. But like it's yeah. all like it's all like it's all dressed fancy and it's got like herbs on top of it. When you can order the same thing, probably tastes the same, yeah. <laughs> it just looks yeah. plain. You know what I mean? I mean they have to play it up, I guess. You know. What do you say? We, we they have to play it up, you know. Oh, uh, right. it looks very good. Uh, pay us right. extra money. Right. But what I'm saying is sometimes there's food that you like. That looks like the most cursed thing, yeah. 
Yeah. But then it actually tastes really good. True. Some yeah. food do, does, do not look good, but then they actually taste like really good. Like, what's but sometimes you can tell just by the smell. Like, if it doesn't look good, but oh, it smells yeah, yeah. good. Oh, yeah, it smells like, oh, smells like a huge, huge, huge part, yes. But if it doesn't smell good, you're like, ah, oh, we're in for a stinker. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes it also can be the other way around, so you, know, you never know. Yes, that's true, that's true. I mean, it, it just depends on what it is, you know what I mean? Yeah, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's jump into some stuff that we've we've uh, ha we've noticed that happened the last week from the last episode. I know I completely butchered that sentence, but it, it just it just how it goes. You know, you can't have an episode without some scuff. Some scuff, some McRib. Yeah, let's talk about like the game awards. A general game awards. Yay. In the last few episodes, we did talk about it. We had a we had a video talking our thoughts. Who's gonna win? Um, some of some, some of our thoughts on the nominees. You know, and then and we also had a, a chat on like, sorry, there's like announcements. What could be announced? That's right. Yeah, and we did have a chat the next episode after that about what could be announced. Um, and let me tell you, bro, Jeff Keely looks incredible as always. He's immaculate. I can't get over the fact that he always looks so good in these videos. Right, man's wearing a suit and tie. I mean, what'd you expect? Man, but he I mean, looks so I mean, good like, in a suit and tie. I mean, most people do. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Fam, sometimes I don't look good in a suit and tie. Sometimes I don't look good in a suit and tie. Look, sometimes we might need a bit of, lose a bit of weight in a suit and tie, but that's a different story. <laughs> you know, it's like... Man, I need to be a bit taller uh, to, to pull off the suit and tie, I reckon. Actually, yeah, some, it, it, yeah, I, don't, I mean, I mean, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not like a fashionista or whatever you call them, you know, just, wear a jacket, you'd be fine, wear, wear a button-up shirt, I don't know, like, that, that is part of the suit, you know. that is part of the suit, yeah, but it's like, you can wear that, you don't have to have like the whole, you know, the whole thing going, you know, I don't Dude, know. I, I, I'll just rack up with a hoodie, if I'm at the game, I'm rocking up with a hoodie, <laughs> I'm rocking yeah, up with a hoodie, I'll, I'll rock up to a hoodie, and then if Jeff Keighley's like, fam, the dress code, I'll be like, trust me, I can't pull it off as well as you can. Let's take a photo. Peace. And then I'll throw Let's the piece on. Let's take a photo. <laughs> exactly. That's what I want. Uh, dude, the, dude if, you, if you tell me who's the one guy you, you want to meet, right? Like, who's someone famous you want to meet, right? Yeah. Like, Jeff Keighley would be one of my top choices. I mean, why not? Obviously, my number one choice is you, but like, <laughs> Bro. Je Jeff Keighley would be on the top. All right, sure. Don't worry, I've seen you many times. Don't worry about that. I'm aware. <laughs> yeah, but like Jeff Keighley would be legit uh, 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 somewhere on the top of the list. Like, not uh, like I don't know if he'd be number one, but he'd be like he'd be like at the top, you know? Yeah. But my man just just needs just needs a sh his own show, man. He just needs his own show. Well, like a YouTube channel. <laughs> maybe. Maybe he can do a YouTube channel. The thing is, I think the reason he just hosts stuff is so he, you know, make a mon more money. Yeah, I know. But, like, like, dude, he's just yeah. a natural at hosting. You know what I mean? I mean, true. I mean, he's been doing it for years, so it makes sense. He's just, he, he, you know, he's good at it. Yep. Like he's done it for a couple years now, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. Enough. Enough fawning over Jeff Keighley and enough simping over him. Let's let's get into some of the actual thoughts. Ah, uh, yeah. So, um, as someone who um completely missed the game awards because uh, Genshin, um, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm gonna need you to carry most of it. Um, I did hear like some of the winners. I heard like Baldur's Gate won. Um, yeah, one game with you. Yes, congratulations, Baldur's Gate. Um, congrats. Let's go. I, guess I, I think I think this is a great game compared to last year. Who uh who ended up winning? Um, uh, it was Elden Ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I mean, you can't compare. I, I think Elden Ring's uh, uh, like a, uh, like still one of the top games, but I think like uh, Baldur's Gate, like you know, it's a it's a fair if it's a fair shot. You know what I mean? It's yeah. deserved. It deserved. Deserved. Like um, deserved. yeah, deserved. Deserved. Now shake hands, business partners. Deserved. <laughs> shake hands. <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but so... But it's like... 
Yeah, do you want what? Well, do you want me to go through the award winners or? But do you, I mean, like, do I want to talk about a general? Uh, like, let's so let's talk about like some of like the more popular category and who ended up winning. It doesn't mean every category. Some of the more popular categories, yeah. and then we'll just we'll uh, we'll give like uh because let's be real. Did bowlers get end up sweeping? It won like six awards. <laughs> they end up sweeping. Okay, end up sweeping. For the okay. most part, I kind of did. Spider Man won nothing apparently, from what I remember. wow wow. You know, does that? Wow, well, that that, that I is shocking. Every every other game, I think, in the uh, what call it? Like in the game of the year, won something except Spider Man, I believe. Maybe Resident Evil as well, but every, I know everything else from memory won won something. So there's that. Because like, but so Spider- Baldur's Gate won game of the year clearly. So you know, like, look, 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 look. It's it's not about it's not about winning or losing. Let me tell you something, right? Yeah, it's just that like like these are all great games. Remember this. These are all like 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 to be fair, ST games. You yeah. know what I mean? It's not like you're comparing this to like like uh, like uh, what's it called like other trash games. You know what I mean? Where like one game is a clear yeah. winner, right? So like <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. But uh, I'm saying is like these these games are all ST games. It's just that like like depending on the category, when depending on the category, it will, 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 will elevate a different game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like for example, like I, I, I'm just gonna make this up. Like best music, maybe a completely different game to like best action game. You know what I mean? Even though they might have like yeah, all yeah. the same nominees. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know what I mean? It's gonna be a different winner. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's like one is gonna, good, gonna good. yeah. Not everything is just not, well, not one game for the most part is gonna be a different game in like every single category. Some is gonna mm-hmm. outdo others in particular things. And correct, whatnot. correct. And uh, yeah. yeah, as long as like again. Bowlers get yeah okay the, a sweep pretty much deserved I mean it, it, at least it was like it was like a deserved game unlike a couple of years back with the Last of Us tragedy, uh, that the Last of Us swept like everything at least Bowlers get gave like room for something right but what I'm saying was like that like that was a controversial yeah. game like if Bowlers get swept everything I don't yeah. think people would have cared because Bowlers get was such a good game. True, you know it what was, I'm saying. Um, I very. It was a good game, but it was also a game that didn't lead to controversy, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, they we're talking about Bubble like Game, right? a, yeah, yeah. a beloved game, a beloved game. Yeah, exactly, game. exactly. I'm like, I'm saying, I'm, compared to, you to The Last of Us, like, for example, like I said, if Baldur's Gate swept everything, I don't think people would have cared because it was such a great game, yeah? yeah. Right, but yeah. whereas, like, Last of Us was like, like, you had, like, diehard people would die on the hill, this was the greatest game, and you had, like, diehard people would say this is the worst game, right? And yeah. to be fair, like, you know what I'm saying? They both uh, have points. But they have, like, way, uh, like points, you know what I mean? And in my opinion, I don't think Last of Us was Game of the Year material. I think it was, like, middling. I think it was middling, in my opinion. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I like I, some I, good I, points. I, like, it had, like, had, like accessibility uh, thing that it should have won. But yeah, every, pretty much, yeah, pretty much every other award, I don't think it should have won, in my opinion. All right. Right. But enough about that. That was a couple of years back. Uh, the the yeah, real thing... Yeah. Was there any controversial takes this year? Like that's the real thing. I don't think. I think like most of, most of the games were like deserved. You know. What I, I mean? remember a couple of years back, like didn't like Deathloop win like an award when like for like best graphics when you had like Kana there. Like that was another controversial pick. Oh yeah. That was wild. That was wild. <laughs> Deathloop. I remember that. <laughs> that was absolutely wild. No, I can, like, tell you some of them, and you probably could, like, agree, you know what I mean? Like No, no, like, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, we'll, we'll list some of like, them, yeah. Best, best game direction, Alan Wake 2. Fair enough, that's that's, that's the joke, fair enough, yeah. Uh, best narrative, Alan Wake 2 as well. Yeah, that's also uh, crazy, yep. Best best art direction, Alan Wake 2. Yep, again. Best score and music, Final Fantasy 16. That's also good, yes. Like, I don't yeah. disagree with any of those. Best audio design, Hi-Fi Rush. Fair enough, yeah. Yeah. Best performance, this would be uh, Neil, Newborn. newborn. Yep, I was going to yep. that. Baldur's Gate, so it's yep. Baldur's Gate. Yep. Accessibility, Forza, that I swear yep. wins. No, no, Forza, like, Forza's crazy. Now. Forza goes ham. I saw the accessibility. Yeah. I saw it the other day. The accessibility was wild. Absolutely wild. Yeah. Um, best ongoing game would be Cyberpunk 2077. The DLC? Best, no, just ongoing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. Game, I saw you because I remember talking about this. Yep. Apex, Final Fantasy, Fortnite, Genshin. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm saying best year. I, 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 to be fair, I, I, I think Fortnite should have won that one. I, I, I genuinely. That's think what Fortnite. I think. 
yeah. yeah but it's not too controversial. That one's not too controversial. That one's like not too I think, controversial. I think if you want my pick, it would have yeah. been between Cyberpunk, Final Fantasy, and Fortnite, at the very least. Between those three. I think Genshin does a good job, but I think those. I would I would have had Genshin in that conversation as well. <laughs> okay, I don't think I don't think Apex should beat it. <laughs> no, no, Apex, no, definitely not. Okay, Apex yeah, keep going. Be yeah, no, definitely not. Best yeah. community support, balls get free. Fair enough. Um, did Mario Wanda also not win anything? No, it did win something. All yeah, right, but we'll get to that. Yeah. Best mobile game that'll be Honkai Star Rail. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, best, absolutely. Best VR game, Resident Evil Village. That's also great. There was no comparison. That was yeah, true. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Best action game would be Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. Yep. Understandable. Yep. Um, best action adventure game, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. That's also, yep. Yes, that's it. That is correct. Best that RPG, is... Baldur's Gate 3. That is also the correct pick. Uh, best fighting game, Street Fighter 6. Yes, there is no competition. Best family game, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Yep. Best sim slash strategy, Pikmin 4. Well, where's the indie game? What would you oh, the indie games, I think I might have skipped the by accident. No, that's all good. Yeah. Did Dave the Diver win? Best indie game is Cocoon. Oh, so no, right, right. Dave watch. the Diver didn't win. I thought Dave the Diver was so good. Oh, that's best debut indie game. Did they have... Best independent game is Sea of Stars. And that has Dave the Diver in it, but Sea of Stars won. No, Sea of Stars was wild. Sea of Stars was absolutely wild. I saw gameplay the other day. Sea of Stars absolutely wild. Absolutely wild. Alrighty. No, like so. So Game Awards, there's no controversies. That's a good year, Game Award. No controversies. Yeah. Uh, the right games were picked. I don't think we can complain about that. So just looking, yeah. So the only games that didn't get any awards is um, Resident Evil, which mm. I didn't think had many spots. I mean, they won the VR all? one. They won the VR one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they won the VR, but like Resident Evil. No, no, no. Yeah, I know, but they still yeah. won like the VR. Yeah. Which Spider Man didn't win anything, so. I guess yeah. I wouldn't say that's controversial though because like I said oh, like I should probably mention Best Multiplayer is also Baldur's Gate 3 so yeah and oh most anticipated game is Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth so really that, yeah it beat out Hades too so I mean people are excited for Final Fantasy 7 like parts I know fair enough fair enough like it's it's just like that like it's a it's isn't it like a remake or a rebirth like the word rebirth it's a remake it? but it, it adds to it if that makes sense fair enough fair enough Fair enough. People remake, love that game. People love game. They know it, absolutely. Like I'm saying, the reason why I voted, like people love that game. Yeah, people but it's love... like the story of it. Is it the same? That's why I'm. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, no. So but pe people love Final game. Fantasy. Yeah, of course, you know. And Final and Fantasy, like what Seven was like one of the better ones as well. Yeah, and then so, there's all the esports stuff and all that. And Our so, player's yeah. voice is Bosket the free. <laughs> so there you go. Which is interesting when I'm looking at the. Wait, this is wait, this is the lineup for players' voice? Wait, what? That's so odd. Well, what's Sorry, the lineup? I, I just don't wanna... Balls Gate 3. Yep. Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. Yep, the DLC. Genshin Impact. Yeah, Genshin Impact was always gonna be there. And Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. But the engine didn't come out this year though. This is it still like Bro, I don't know. Out? I don't know. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Like I mean it didn't even win, but like you know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> A bit, bit weird, personally, but on the let me let me ask you something, fam. You're you're saying a game, and then you've got a DLC. I, I mean, you're right, but I guess it's because it's like a big enough expansion. I don't know, bro. I didn't play it. <laughs> like the other three, okay, at least Baldur's Gate, Marvel, and Marvel Spider-Man Two, and Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom. At least those three are actual games that came out this year. Out of the choices. So. Correct, correct. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. No, like... I don't know, though. But, I mean, like, from all that, it seems to be good choices overall. Bam. Uh, look, um, did, did that was, a, like, in terms of winners and... Uh, whatever it's called winners for these for categories i think like yeah. look this is a year no controversy which is always good no controversy number one uh i pretty much agree with nearly all the picks that is number two yeah and yeah i like like i said i uh like i think the community like not the well i wouldn't say the community because there's not a proper community like oh the gaming community that's the word i'm trying to put 
the gaming community, because I'm not talking about like the gaming award community, it's the gaming community. Uh, yeah. I think pretty much we're, we're like we're satisfied with it. I think there were a bit of issues just in general with the event itself. Well, the, yeah, the event, the event's a different like story. The awards, like, you know. Yeah, the event. Yeah. All right. Let's talk so, about some some of, some of the uh, some of the games, some of the announcements. Oh, no. Um, from what I heard, there was no oh, Nintendo right. announcements, which is absolutely wild. There were no Nintendo announcements. There were out of the, I think out of the big three, like Nintendo, Xbox, mm -hmm. and uh, PlayStation. I think yep. Xbox had the most, from what I remember. I mean, to be expected, fam. It's to be expected. Xbox just just got access to like their big what it was called like like. Bethesda, and then they ended up getting access to, like, what is it called? Like, Blizzard Activision King. Yeah, so they were... Uh, like, they, they, yeah, exactly. They, they, yeah. But it's, it's like, um, yeah, Nintendo didn't advertise anything. Which is very strange in my opinion. Wonder. Well, I mean, like, they probably, again, really? like... Nintendo wants That's to save it for like, their own show, showcase. Nintendo yeah. probably want to show it for their own showcase. Which I'm completely Probably fine. Probably like January or something. Yeah, that, that's completely fine. Mean, yeah. Completely fine. All right, I have like a list of eleven games that I found that were interesting at the very least <laughs> from like the Game Awards that I just kind of want to chat about. Are we talking like, about new releases? Or new uh, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. New releases. New releases are always uh, good. These are all like games that are coming out like in the next couple of years, like to me, two years max. I bet I believe most of them are. So, so nothing right. was announced. Like nothing, nothing for like in upcoming. Like was announced. Like very, very close. There is out of uh, there's two games I believe mm -hmm. that were. I tried like finding which ones there were right now. That, that's fine. That's fine. Like, I'm, I'm just. I I'm just remember curious. one was coming out March of next year. Let me. Yeah. Right. Like, I thought. I thought Rise there was gonna. Of, Rise of the Ronin is gonna come out. Right. March right. Next right. Year. PlayStation exclusive. So, there's that. And I think Persona 3, which I don't have on this list, but Persona 3 is coming out as well. All right, let's let's go, let's go let's go let's go through some of these uh, really quickly. Um, so, let's go through some stuff. So the first game I've listed is Usual Doom. Um, the reason I listed this game because I was like I didn't know what it was at first, and mm -hmm. I was kind of like hmm, the, mm -hmm. like the from now there for the trailer looked not that great to be honest. Yeah, but I clicked on it. And it seems to be an action adventure game. Yep. But but it's like it has a really nice art style and That's nice. really clean um music. Yep, I'll and check all these out later. Yeah, it's space so time distortion. But and it has like teenagers and stuff. So it seems like it's probably gonna be a, you know, a story based game, but you have like, you know, action adventure gameplay mixed in. Oh, it's interesting, 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 interesting. Yeah. The next game I have is I think this this you'll do like it's called Windblown. It's a co-op roguelike developed by the same people who made Dead Cells. This is ooh, uh, ooh. majority was just a uh, cinematic trailer. I had a tiny bit of gameplay, but it was mostly cinematic. Fair enough. We know it comes coming out sometime next year, but there's no actual like date for it. Just twenty twenty four. Fair enough. Looks interesting though. So there's that. We got the game that looked really goofy. <laughs> yep. The it's called Big Walk. This is the same people who made um, Untitled Goose Game. Ah, I think you were telling seems... me about this earlier. Yeah, it seems... You know how... um, What's the game? Lethal Company has the talking mechanic, how you can talk to people in-game kind of thing? Yep. It has that, but it's a co-op puzzle game. And it, it seems to be so, quite creative. Wait, what, what was Lethal Company's talking thing? What were we talking about? So, like, you know how in games... like I, I, don't, I don't know what the feature is called off the top of my head, but you know in, like, Lethal Company... Like in game, you can talk to people, like to, uh, voice chat in game, like in game voice chat, like um, like you sp speak and then as far as someone goes further away, you can't hear. <gasps> oh, it. proximity chat. Yeah, proximity chat. That's yeah, okay. That. I was like, yeah, okay, okay. I was like, is it it's like is it something special? No, no, proximity no, chat. Fair, fair, fair. I didn't know the feature. Gotcha, so you gotcha. Have that, and it's like a co-op puzzle game, but it also has like a lot of walking around elements and stuff. So it looks pretty cool, and I, I love how goofy the characters look. <laughs> It looks really rather interesting when I clicked it because I was like, I don't know about this. But then when I knew who made it, and then I actually watched it, I'm like, this game actually looks rather interesting. Fair enough. So fair that's enough. Uh, a good pick. That's one of those that's games where it's game. like, don't judge before, don't judge it based on its cover. True, true, definitely. Next pick is a bias pick from me. It's uh, 
Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Uh, of course, it's a pious pick. Of course, yeah. a silly Dragon so, Ball. Of course, yep. This game, if people played back in the past, like back in the day, Budokai Tenkaichi. This is a uh, uh, the fourth one, I believe. Technically, the fourth sequel, but it's called Sparking because in Japan, that's how they always called it. And yeah. we still don't know the release date, but we at least got some in-game uh, footage, and it looks really nice. Yeah. yeah. But um, it's Unreal Engine 5. We saw some characters like Goku, Vegeta, Broly, Freezer. We, uh, it looks, the gameplay looks nice, uh, but we haven't seen actual gameplay. It's just like, in-game footage, but I wouldn't be surprised if the gameplay is just as good as that. Now, enough, uh, next, next game, I've never played this series before, but when I saw this trailer, honestly, my jaw dropped how clean it looked. Visions of Mana. Oh, dude, you... dude, I've, 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 for the, when you say that game, it reminds me of the other Visions game. I never Charles actually, yeah, yeah, I never actually picked yeah. it up, but I was actually very close to picking it up at one point. Because I had very, a remake a couple of years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. Two or three years ago? Yeah. This... Looks stun. I'm. I'm gonna show you the trailer after. To be honest. It looks yeah, 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 fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, yeah, yeah I, 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 like for its like start, like for because you know how it does like the uh, you know JRPG or anime esque style. Yes. It has that, but it looks very clean. And um, sometimes games like that, their frame rate is kind of iffy. This game, it looks very smooth. So I'm uh, very pleased on how it looks. Yes. And its presentation. Yeah. Uh the next game we mentioned it earlier, Rise of the Ronin. Uh, PlayStation exclusive, which is coming March 22, 2024. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, it seems to be an action game made by people called, made by Team Ninja. It looks really cool. It's It reminds me a bit of um, what is it called? Ghost of Shima, but less cinematic and more action based. It has a story and whatnot. It's probably story driven, but it has a more like emphasis on action and like set pieces kind of thing. Yep. So, like, there's a shot in it where, like, a house is burning on fire, and a guy, I think, reflected, like, a flaming arrow, and then his katana became on fire. So this and is, this like, is, a cinematic, or is it in-game? This is, uh, this is, uh, from what I remember, it was kind of, like, cinematic. It wasn't actual game. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, but it also has, like, it's in that period of the, I guess, Shogun era where uh, rifles were starting to be used. Yep. So it's also it's a mix of like you know combat with you know katanas and rifles and like flintlocks. Yep. So you know it's pretty you know it's pretty cool from what I saw. Fair enough. Next game is a game we've both been you know keeping our attention on, Black Myth Wukong. Hmm. Oh boy, this trailer actually dropped with an English dub. This is the first time I think a trailer for this game has like it's English. It's in English. Yeah, but like and it doesn't after... sound bad. I, I well, let me try and explain to you. After like they, they got like they made the 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 West go, holy shit, we want to play this game. They had to make something English. Yeah, they had to. Yeah, because the the amount of like support coming from the West, they were like surprised. Yep. And there's a release date. I'm not sure if they announced the release date earlier on, like mm -hmm. in other trailers. But the release date is August of next year, August 20th wow. of next wow. year. I can't wait. So that's a must grab. <laughs> and that honestly. It still holds up graphically. I know there's a new because when that game originally showed off like the trailer for like a year or two back, yeah, and it looked like it looked almost like the best game out there, like visually. Yeah. It still keeps up personally, even though there's games that look just as good. It, it keeps up. Um, we have a couple more games left. Uh, just need to scroll down to be honest. Uh, okay, this game, the first Berserker Kazan. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not. It's based on a uh, based on the Dungeon and Fighter series. It's an action RPG game. When I first clicked on it, its graphics look a bit weird, but then when it went into like, I guess gameplay or in, in or in engine kind of gameplay, yeah. it looked really good. It's like a mix of like those like you know those cartoony uh, uh, graphics, but it's like a darkish kind of. It's like dark comic book looking graphics, yep. but it looks it, it like meshes really well with the, like Fair the enough. art and the environments, and it seems to be. Like, even though this is action RPG, it looks more like a Soulsborne kind of game. Like, right, like, there's, like, right. Bosses. Like, there's, like, a boss that kind of, like, threw, like, a lance at the guy. The guy, like, do barely dodges out of the way or something. Yeah. It looks pretty cool, but it but it has, like, a more of a art, like, a more, 
of an art style instead of going for realism, which yeah. I kind of like. Yeah. All right, next game. Um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, it is light, no fire. This game is made by the same developers who made No Man's Sky. Yeah. So you know how No Man's Sky they had. All right, yes, we're making procedurally yes. generated. Generated. Plans. Yes. This time they're making a giant. The si- they say the size of the Earth, like the actual Earth, generated planet, and it's more fantasy in this time. So it's like, wow. Like for instance, mountains are like giant, like very big, like almost like scarily realistically accurate to like IRL <laughs> accuracy of yeah. mountains. And you can fly around on dragons or like what do you call them, birds and stuff. And it's like it's very similar to No Man's Sky. Like you can make like areas like settlements and whatnot Correct. by a particular beast and whatnot it was all i think in engine but it looks it like it takes the no man's sky approach but instead of having it in one planet and just having it more fantasy based i, yeah. I, I can't wait to see more uh, we don't know the release date of that yet but that was its first like announcement trailer so maybe yeah. later on and then we have the uh last the last one i just had uh listed down Monster yeah. Hunter Wilds. This was the last, I think, trailer they showed before Game of the Year. Right. And um, damn, does this game look good? It's um, I want to say it's the best looking game from the list, but like from what we see, like it looks good, and you have like a lot of monsters like running around doing stuff, interacting. Yeah, with the, yeah, the Monster Hunter usually is like a very beloved series. Yeah, and it's and it looks like you know. It looks, you know, looks like what people want, and it's set in like a more arid, deserty kind of area. Yeah. And like the guy was like riding like a, I want to say it's a chocobo because that's from like Final Fantasy, but kind of looked like one. <laughs> chocobo. And nice. like he was running around creatures, and there's some other creatures chasing him. And that's coming out. We don't know the exact date, but it's on 2025. So that's the ones I least found interesting to me whilst watching some of these trailers. Yeah. But, no, that, that, that's yeah, a good they, lineup. Uh, trailers, that's a good lineup. Trailers overall, I actually like them. I think there's just the event itself could have been better. If you fair know enough. I mean. Fair enough. Yeah. I guess we want to. We should we talk about the event now? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the event. I think the event was fine. I don't think it's the best event. Yeah. I don't think it's the. I don't think it's the best uh, game awards event. I also don't sure. think it's the I worst. Don't so. I don't think there's... What's it called? I don't think it's worse. I don't think... There's probably better events, like, I don't know, this year, maybe with uh, Nintendo, or, like... Summer Games First, or... Summer Games First, yes. A lot of stuff like that. Correct. But it, I wouldn't say it's the worst either, but it's, like... Like, some of the weird standout things were, like... So you know how people accept their awards? Yeah. They have like a 30 second thing, like a 30 second interval to go accept that and talk, make a yeah. speech. Yeah. And then if they go over that, they put on like the, you know, the massive screen they have. Yeah. They put, please get off the stage or something like in a nicer way. Please like, <laughs> like, please leave so like other people can, you know, like just the show can go on basically. Yeah. 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 And it's just like, and they play music. So <laughs> that's, it's like, that's wild. Bro, imagine like, like, cause I remember, I think the game of like game of the year, um, Larion, when they yeah. were, you know, because they Baldur's Gate won and all that, yeah. they yeah. were saying how like one of the developers during the process had passed away, yeah. like right before the game released, yeah. and I was just like, you know, honoring him, yeah. and then like towards the end of the, <laughs> the music just starts playing, yeah, and, you're, and they're like, you know, it's supposed to be like leave the stage, but it's like, bro, yeah. come on, you know, like it's clear they don't want another last year incident where the guy, like the you know the voice actor for what's his name. Uh, from yeah. God of War, like protagonist, I can't remember. They, they didn't right want. Now. They didn't want the same situation. No, yeah, they don't want another eight minute situation where everything gets pushed back. But it's like, come on, give a bit more time for the devs, because this is the show's for the devs. Yeah, oh, yeah, I swear, you see more like people from like the cinema, the cinema industry presenting awards and stuff, yeah, and stuff like that, than the devs, which kind of like leaves almost like a bit of a sour taste in people's mouths. But that's just my opinion, personally. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree with you. What you're saying. Yeah. I guess people they just didn't want the guy to be like rambling, like like what happened. You know what I mean? Yeah, what happened last? But like, surely give him like a minute or two. You know what I mean? Dude, like, like they should have like they should have been like like I reckon I reckon that like if you're the event organizers, right? 
let them know in advance. Don't no, it's not it just like let them know in advance. Like you're clearly listening to what they're saying. So like, oh, we're honoring a guy. And then you're like, yeah. So let, let's just Dude, put this. Like music starts playing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh uh, yeah. Um, although I do want to say one thing. I'm not sure if you saw last year's event because last year's event. Do you remember? Do, okay, do you know the flute guy? Yeah, yeah, the flute guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. was, he was, he was he, and he did bits. <laughs> when I nice. saw him on the live stream, I'm like, oh my god, it's the flute guy. Yeah, he's, he's so he, he's so cool. Yeah, but I just wanted to mention that. He, but best best performer, best performance, of flute guy. The flute guy was incredible though last year. He, People he were was, raving about how, and he he did an incredible job this year because he's like one of the people who does the uh, performances. Mm-hmm. Yeah. like. Game of the Year and uh, nominees, each one of them, they play their music, like one t- bit of their soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's part of that, and it, it's so good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, like, yeah. I guess that's, like, everything from the Game Awards from me. That yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, bro, I'm, like, sweating now, jeez. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's, it's, like I said, it's too hot. It's so hot. Here, here in Australia, yeah. it's too hot. It's too hot. You know okay. what? I'm happy this time. Wait, one thing. I'm happy they didn't get let some rando get on the stage. <laughs> I mean, it made good yeah. for the memes. It made good for the memes, but other than that, it was terrible. Yeah, it's like, come on, you know. <laughs> Funny meme, but like... It was, it was not a good yeah. look. Yeah, not. Especially not here. That's right. Yeah, I, okay, wait, I, I just want to mention this. I saw, the, I found the sign thing. It says, please wrap up. That's what they've put on the sign. When it's dude, bar- oh, oh, that, dude that, that, that's sad. That's actually, like, no, what I'm saying is like, okay, look, if you're rambling and then like what you're saying, like, is like, just like fluff around like what you're trying to say. Fair enough, fair enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. However, when like you are commemorating someone, yeah, that's so rude to put up like, please wrap up. Yeah, it is. That's because even like guys... some people, what? What? Okay. like some people, got up on the stage. Like you know how some people like they, they like you know like they, when they're getting up, they like thanking like their friends yeah, and stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. getting up on stage. Like some people stayed on stage for like less than like ten seconds or something before they had to get off. Basically, let me like, let me, so, let like, me try and explain to you something. Right? It's like yeah. they can hear everything that's being said. So why don't you make the the, the what's it called the executive decision not to put that up? I I have no idea. Well, that's what, because like, I get it. If, if the guy from God of War goes up and like starts talking like for 15 minutes, yeah, bro, okay, tell him to wrap it up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go ahead, right? But then if you go, if you go, the first thing they say, in commemoration, yeah, you're really going to put it up. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? You could have like, okay, you could extend it a little bit. Like, oh, you have, like, be flexible with it. You know what I mean? However, the guy's like, thank you. And then he's like, thank you. I like to thank all my family members. I like to thank all my staff help me work on this game i'd like to thank all my like what's it called supporters i'd like to think and he just keeps saying oh, i'd like to think i'd like to think okay bro just wrap it up you know what i mean yeah because the guy would start ranting like i'd like to thank my, my, my cousin across the road i'd like to think my neighbor who like inspired me i'd like to think like, like bro like do you know what i mean once you go up to that point you know you know what i'm saying all you have to say is i thank you everyone who supported me throughout all this time it's been such a great journey and that's it you just get off instead of thanking every single individual one you know what i mean yeah can you imagine some guy just started thanking every individual person? I'd like to oh, thank geez. Mike in the crowd over there. <laughs> ah, funny. It's funny because like they they only have this much time, but then like when you know people with the hosts, like the people from like no, you yeah. know the non gaming sphere, like yeah. people, like it's nice to have some people not from the gaming sphere sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like they they can stand there for I don't know however long, just you know talking like you know two or three minutes, mm-hmm. and then you know get the award. And then the developer stands there for like 30 seconds and like, all right, get off, please. It's like, bro, come on. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. We, uh, I guess we shall move on, I guess, from the Game Awards now. Yeah. Um, let's talk about some really other stuff. Um, GTA 6 trailer. Okay, cool. GTA 6 trailer. Uh, Very... Like- very, very, very uh, minimalistic honest, trailer. Like we barely saw anything. In the trailer. Yeah, true. Uh, honestly, most of it was just references of Florida, <laughs> like things that happened in Florida. But like, well, cool. We get to know where very, we are this time. Yeah, but like, also, it's just very. Uh, you know what I mean? Jaw droppingly good. Like, no, it's you know, it's a beautiful uh, trailer. Okay, let, let's yeah. things things we saw. 
beautiful trailer. Uh, first ever female protagonist in GDA. Yep. That's uh, the release date of 2020. Was it five? Five, yes. 2020. Yeah, so there, there is a year wait. There isn't, like, because we're at the end of this year. There is a year wait. Um, yep. Do you think it's too early to drop a trailer to announce the 2025? That's my question to you. I could see the reasoning for it. But also, I guess it gives them some leniency because they could say, "Oh, it's the beginning." Like they didn't, they didn't specify when during twenty twenty five. So I guess correct. it's leniency if, onto, right, if they need right. to push it back. Right. But what I'm saying is that I'm saying is that you could have released it somewhere in twenty twenty four. It didn't have to be at the end of twenty twenty three. That's what I'm trying to get at. True. I think maybe they wanted to get ahead of things, so they're like, "Oh, let's release it now, and then during next year we can drop more important tidbits." Because this trailer, as you said, it didn't show much. So it's like, okay, this is like a, you know, teaser almost, you know, teaser trailer, announcement trailer. And yeah, but like, first of all, okay, other than the trailer. fact that like it got like so many views, yeah, you put out a tweet, yeah. everyone expecting that this game's going to release next year, you know what I mean? Like the anticipation and then obviously the expectation like dropped, like was dropped because of the fact that it was announced in 2025, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know what I'm saying? Do you, you kind of get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's more use of GTA Online. <laughs> Sorry, I just need to add that in. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah, so that's that's my opinion. You know what I mean? Because you've got all these other people who are like, what was it? Like, what was it called? Like, they, they was it Skyrim or Elder Scroll? Like, how many years more are we waiting? You know what I mean? I mean, it had the same day uh, announcement as uh, Starfield, and we have Starfield currently. So <laughs> there you go. And we haven't gotten another trailer for that game yet. Yeah, well, we got, we, dude, we didn't even get a trailer. We got like a what's it called? Like a title drop. Uh, yeah, that's it. Was that in 2017 or 2018? Let me double check. Dude. And people are still waiting on that. Um, yeah. So I'm just double checking. We 2018. Okay, geez. Yeah. Yeah. So what's been? It's gonna be like four years. No, more well, six years soon since we heard yeah. anything. Dude, because uh, we're at know. the end of 2023. <laughs> but first, uh, at 2030. Hey guys, we have news for the <laughs> Elder Scrolls Six. Here's our second trailer. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Absolutely don't know. We'll be. I guarantee we will not be on this earth when the game drops. <laughs> Todd Howard would have would be somehow digitally. To to if Todd to Howard, Todd Howard, like he really to the trailer and then he sells sixteen times the detail. Oh my god, love this. If he says that, I'll absolutely. <laughs> times the detail. People My guy, so like you come up and it would be like 32 times the detail. My guy will hit you with the double. The double whammy. You think it's 16? Nah, it's actually 32. 32 times the detail. Of Skyrim on your uh, smart fridge. Dude, <laughs> absolutely wild. Me. Okay. The last thing I want to sh discuss. Yeah. You just go quickly over. Um, Fortnite included the Lego mode. Yeah. Which is absolutely wild, by the way, because I did see some gameplay. It's absolutely wild. So if you like Lego, like, this uh, is the best time to play a for Fortnite. Isn't it like, almost, it's almost like a reminiscent of Minecraft. Like, it's but a survival dude, kind of thing. Isn't it's, it? it's, it's crazy. It's actually crazy. You know what? This is a throwback to the past. This is what you, Lego Universe should have been. Do you remember that? Oh Lego my universe. god, bro! Lego Universe that online game, dude, we bro. Play when we, were we 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 played yeah. it and then we played the free free section only because we didn't oh, want to yeah. buy it. That that was so stupid. Because like, back we, in we the day, putting credit cards and yeah, like it was the very, biggest scam. Like when we were back yeah. back in the day, out there, like we and that was so stupid. Like you, you know what I mean? That was when we were still in primary school. We're dude, like, that was like we were so young during that time. Yeah, like you could barely trust now. the internet at that time. True. Yeah. Like I mean, instant. Back then wasn't even like uh, like it was still so new, mm -hmm. new here almost. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely wild. It's like, bro. Absolutely wild. But that's what it reminds me of. It's like, that's, yeah, that gave me that like nostalgia. I'm like, damn, that kind of reminded me of look at you, dude. That's absolutely wild. What a wild g game, bro. That's Fortnite. Fortnite, Fortnite. yeah, Fortnite. How much money did they pay to get Lego to collaborate with them? Bro, they've got all the like money in the world. They can just throw anything. Yeah, they've got all the money in the world. 
That reminds me, Lego recently opened a, uh, like, what, their biggest Lego store here in Australia? So there's also that. You gotta go hit that up. Pretty cool. Yeah, we gotta. I think, is it in the city? Somewhere in the city, I think. Yeah, dude, we'll, go, we'll, we'll hit up. I kid you not. We'll hit it up and get some Lego sets. I kid you not. We'll, we'll, we'll pick yeah, a day and we'll actually Christmas hit it up. <laughs> What'd you say? Yeah, Christmas Lego sets. <laughs> dude, we are not going for Christmas Lego sets because I'm not going during that heat and, and especially yeah, since it's going to be uh, packed. It's going to be packed. Probably sometime in January or something. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, Early when I, when I when I get time off work, like I'll have like a day. We'll be like, all right, we're gonna heat it up. Sure, why not? We'll, we'll go in with 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 with, with a decent size amount of money. We'll, we'll get we'll get those crazy as eighteen plus sets that actually like oh, take yeah, skills. Cause just, yeah, because like I'm not yeah. I'm not getting the kitty sets. Like I'm getting the absolute crazy one, like the Hogwarts like, like, Hogwarts one, like, like or like the yeah, the, the class one Kermit that looks or... bro. Those ones would be insane. It's just like as long as yeah. they don't cost like a crazy amount of money, they probably will. Yeah. But like you know what I'm saying. But I, I think you're looking a Lego Optimus Prime that like transforms and it was also for like 18 plus. I'm like, bro, what? That transforms? <laughs> that transforms? Like, something akin to that. Yeah, something akin to that. Ain't no way, know. fam, because the, the Lego pieces would break wrong, when you move them. Like... Ain't no way. Oh, you know what? I'm just switching up real quick. Sorry. <laughs> well, are you switching up where the location of this uh, Lego pieces? No, like what I just said, uh, seeing if it's actual thing. Yeah, it is. It is, it is, it is. Alright, I'll check that out later. I'll check that out later. $280! Oh! <laughs> Jeez. Sorry, but it's like, bruh, it's 180 bucks. But it's all made of Lego, but like, damn. Yeah, and it can transform. Jeez. I'm tempted. <laughs> My temptation is high. Absolutely not, fam. That, 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 absolutely not. Not, not with that we'll price. Twenty second of December. Yeah, no, but like, that's like enthusiast, enthusi, enthusiast spice. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. All right. So, what were we meant to actually be talking about? No, 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 we were talking about like the Fortnite Lego and like just st stuff yeah. like how much money they pay and a make crazy amount, and it's absolutely wild. Apparently, there's like a lot of movie references and stuff as well, which absolutely. Don't be surprised. Yeah. Oh, we're going to see a Clutch Powers reference in it? Maybe. I, I don't know what there is. Jeez. Bro, Lego's so... I just love Lego. Lego's, so Lego's wild, fam. Yeah. We need to play more Lego games, bro. We still haven't finished uh, Lego City Undercover. Dude, there are, we, we, there are so many other Lego games. Uh, there was, like, Lego Harry oh, Potter. Actually, we, haven't, like... we haven't finished the Skywalker Saga either. Dude, Skywalker Saga is absolutely crazy. So we, you know, we we have some, we have some. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. All right, and I guess we're wrapping uh, up here. Anything okay, else cool. you want to you want to say? Any any quick things that you can wrap up in a minute or two? Um, don't buy the day before. Yes, we will be we will be actually having a a crazy discussion next week on the day before. But yeah, yeah. uh, day before apparently scam. Don't buy it. Everyone's talking about it. Don't get it. Don't Waste the money. Yeah. Now you can get so many other games that you can get. Yeah, oh, wait until sales and you can get like 50 games worth the, oh, the price of that. that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like games, some games will go to like down to like a dollar or two, I guarantee it. So it's like, yeah. Oldies but goldies, you know what I mean? Oldies but goldies. So, nice, nice. I like, I like that thing. I'm going to yeah, use that for now. So, let's go. All right, then. Yeah. Um, um, do you have anything else to say? Or. Do, do, do you're gonna you 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 are really making a mistake saying. Do you have anything else to say? Well, if that's the case, <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say, right? From, yeah. I have a feeling. I already know what you're gonna say. You can say. Uh, look, I was gonna I was gonna say something about Genshin, but I'm actually gonna say something um different, right? Uh, all of you guys who are traveling for the Christmas holidays, because there are gonna be some people gonna be start traveling early, so they get. Spend more time with their family and friends. Uh, save journeys uh, and have a great holiday. Have a I'll trip. say that instead, in, instead of preaching Genshin. Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, like if you like this and subscribe. Yeah, like, subscribe, watch some of our other stuff. We've got some uh, great content and we Crazy are recording story. a lot more often. So we're seeing a lot more content appearing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know what the content schedule is going to look like for Christmas. So... I'm uh, hoping that the content is actually you content. There will be content. <laughs> yeah, we, we promise it's going to be content. We just don't know how much. And we don't know if it will even come out on Christmas Day. <laughs> I don't think there's so, going to be anything on Christmas Day. 
Probably not. Oh no, we'll see. Unless maybe we'll maybe a rendition of uh like um, maybe a rendition of us uh, singing Merry Christmas. Do not do not say <laughs> <laughs> No promises, no promises. Oof, yeah, All right then. Not. See you. Peace.